These suspects seem to have the common sense of a koala when they try to take on police officers. From getting arrested to getting tased Get on the ground. and even getting shot. You're such a disgusting bastard! Anyway! These suspects made the worst possible moves they could when confronted by the police. Young Park Chaos. In May 2023, a police officer was doing his routine patrolling in Young Park in Las Cruces, New Mexico, trying to keep the peace and prevent teenagers from pulling reckless stunts in the parking lot. But things take a turn when the officer gets back in his car and out of nowhere, a bottle of Dos Equis comes flying, hitting the windshield. Who did that? The officer wasted no time jumping out of the car and demanding to know who was responsible. The suspect probably thought they could blend into the crowd. The officers managed to catch up to the suspect and zap them with a taser. Teenagers sure can be a handful, with their rebellious mindset and all. But this 18-year-old Carlos Rodriguez took things to the next level and now has to face some serious charges for assaulting a police officer, damaging a police car and trying to escape. Pen assailant. At an open house event at a kindergarten school, Reed Duran shows up pretending to be a father, all with the sinister intention of drugging and kidnapping children. But when the cops bring him in for questioning, Duran's true colors come out. Thinking he's some skilled assassin, he grabs a pen from the table and tries to stab the police officer. Big mistake. This cop's reaction time is faster than lightning. With ease, he pushes Duran to the floor and slaps the cuffs on him after pinning him down. When the other officers arrive, he casually informs them that Duran tried to stab him. It's clear he's got the situation under control, needing no assistance from anyone else. And hey, did you notice how the cop still has his sunglasses perched on his head? It just goes to show how little effort it took for him to remind Duran who's really in charge. Interrogation room fail. Murder suspect Thomas Robinson, sitting in the interrogation room, gets this brilliant idea to try and snag the cop's gun while the officer bends over to cuff him to the chair. But this cop ain't about to let that happen. Quick thinking kicks in and he shifts his body position, making sure Thomas can't get his gun. Before Thomas can blink, other officers are swooping in, tasers blazing. But even with volts coursing through him, Thomas is still clinging to that holster like his life depended on it. It takes a few more jolts and another officer busting in before Thomas finally gets the picture and hits the ground, writhing in pain. Roof rage. It's not gonna work, buddy! I know, but just put the knife down. No! Put the knife down. Put the knife down. No! In Tucson, Arizona, back in April 13, 2022, the cops get a call about this dude, Jamie Herrera, acting all kinds of crazy. When two officers show up at the scene, they find 34-year-old Jamie high on meth, sitting on his neighbor's roof with a knife in hand. Now, these officers are trying to reason with Jamie, telling him they are just there to help, but he is not having any of it. Dude is throwing bricks, making threats, and asking them to just end it all by shooting him. Slow down. Just stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there, buddy. No! Just stay right there. All I want to do is help you. you! All I want to do is help you. Get inside the house. From the roof, Jamie gets onto a tree, then somehow ends up on a wall before gravity gives him a rude awakening. Hold on, buddy. We're trying to get you some help. Hey, hey stop him. Look at you. He's coming off the wall. Hey, Don't start managing him to stand off. No, they're going to turn the end. Go that way. Go that way. Oh. Huh? Where are you guys going? Stop! Ah! 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 
You think chaos ended here? Hell no. Jamie's still hollering in agony, ignoring the officer's orders to lie on the ground while they keep zapping him with the taser. When they try to slap the cuffs on him, he is not having it. <laughs> Jude starts wrestling with them, throwing punches and even biting down on one of the officer's thumbs. After a good few minutes of chaos, the officers finally manage to pin him to the ground. But then they notice Jamie starting to lose consciousness, so they quickly shift him into the recovery position. Hey, buddy. Okay? Can you go that way? Whew. This mess is a cautionary tale of why you should steer clear of drugs. Gaines Getaway. In July 2020, officers pulled over a car after receiving reports of threats. Anthony Thomas Gaines, chilling in the passenger seat, tries to play it cool, saying he was just there to charge his phone and did not threaten anybody. And their dialogue goes on for a few minutes. The dispatcher informs the officers that Gaines isn't just a suspect, he has got a warrant of arrest for aggravated assault with a gun. Hey, come here real quick. Step up. Yeah, I got you just said, man. Just, hey, yeah, just I'm, I'm gonna detain you right yeah, now. Yeah. You're not, you're not arrested. You're not being under arrest. No, no, no. Just until we find out everything is going on. They ask Gaines to step out of the vehicle, assuring him he is just being detained. And when they search him, they find a small ring box with a bag of meth inside. Oh, hey, 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 get that. Get, hey, get home. Cause I got my arm. My money right there. Where? Right there in that bag. Okay, all right. Make sure I get my money. Where's the money at? In your book bag? Yeah. Okay. Gaines tries to play innocent, claiming he knows nothing about it. Then Gaines dashes, thinking he can outrun the cops. Big mistake. This officer ain't having any of it. He kicks into high gear, sprinting faster than a pro athlete, and almost catches Gaines. Gaines trips and hits the ground, losing his mind and screaming like he has been shot. Then comes the real showdown. We got body cameras on. You scream all you want to. We got body cameras on. Shock me! And you shock me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaines starts kicking and pushing, trying to resist arrest like his life depends on it. He even manages to wriggle out of the car and take a bite out of one of the officer's thighs. After a few minutes of pure chaos, the officers finally wrangle him into the car and call for an ambulance because Gaines suddenly remembers he's got a pacemaker. Maybe next time, don't try to outrun the cops and resist arrest if you've got a pacemaker that might not appreciate the extra excitement. Fleeing fiasco. The cops were patrolling through Wilshire, Los Angeles when their automatic license plate reader hit them with a hot tip, a stolen car in the area. They try to pull over Ian Jimenez, the 21-year-old suspect, but instead of stopping, he floors it, kicking off a high-speed chase. Things go from bad to worse when Ian crashes into another car and decides to make a run for it on foot. He manages to get away from the cops by hopping fences like a parkour pro, but they quickly establish a perimeter and bring in the secret weapon. K-9 unit to the rescue! He casually gets out the back door of some random house, only to get his hand clamped down by the police dog. Ian puts up a fight, trying to wrestle free from the jaws of the police pooch, but eventually the officer orders the canine to let go. You probably thought he would quit, right? Nope. Ian takes off running again, even though he just narrowly escaped getting his arm ripped off. But Ian's luck runs out when another police dog joins the chase. This time, he manages to fend off the furry pursuer with a chair, but with nowhere left to run, he's cornered and captured. After getting a taste of the canine's bite, Ian ends up in the hospital for some much-needed treatment before being hauled off to lock up. Denial and Deception In May 2021, some sicko groped a 10-year-old girl at Walmart. 
When the mom found out from her daughter, she wasted no time and bolted after the guy, but he managed to slip away. Still, she didn't let him off the hook. She filed a complaint with the police right away. Dominic, you got taser? Stop! So the cops dig into the case and find out the suspect hit a subway right after leaving Walmart. After months of gathering info and piecing things together, they finally put a name to the face. Jose Amon, a 30-year-old who works at La Crosse Bar. Come October 2021, they decide to swing by his workplace for a chat. But when they confront Amon, he denies everything. Is that something you've ever driven? No, I don't even have a topper on my truck. Okay. I don't have a cab. You don't think that resembles you in the slightest? No? I'm not going to agree to that. Okay, so, <clears throat> so the incident is that you reported to us that you had grabbed a, a child buttock in a grocery aisle. The cops aren't buying a man's story, though. They see right through his lies and tell him to turn around and put his hands behind his back. That's when it hits Aman that he's in deep trouble and the consequences of his actions are finally going to catch up. Dominic, you got taser? Thinking he can outsmart them since he knows his workplace better, he makes a run for the back door of the restaurant and gets to the street. But either he is not as fast as he thought or the cops are just quicker. After a short sprint, Aman runs out of steam and the officers catch up to him, grabbing him from behind and slapping the cuffs on him. Aman's now facing some serious charges. He's looking at up to 60 years in prison for his crimes. And honestly, I couldn't agree more with keeping guys like him far away from kids for good. It's where they belong. No time for restroom. In December 2021, a suspect refused to pull over for a traffic stop after US Highway 54, south of Carrizozo, New Mexico. But when they took a break at a gas station, the officer wasn't going to go easy on her. He burst into the restroom and kicked open the stall door to detain the suspect, who kept claiming she didn't do anything, but immediately started resisting. What are you gonna do about Come out of the stall and get out! Now! I'm, I'm peeing! I'm Come out of the fucking vehicle! Fuck? Get out here what now! Fuck? Get out! I'm get your out. fucking hands Please? up! The suspect, identified as Jamie Granger, displayed erratic behavior throughout the confrontation. One minute, she was admitting to having a little alcohol, and the next, she was denying she drank anything at all. But Jamie managed to rack up a few more charges than just driving under the influence, fleeing the traffic stop and speeding. She tried biting the officer's hands and even landed a kick on one of them, disconnecting their body cam for a few seconds. You're gonna get a resi- you're gonna Stop get Stop it! You're Sexual gonna, assault! You're gonna get an additional- You're gonna get an Let additional- Let me go! Charge. Do you- Let me go! You're gonna get battery Sexual on a- Sexual assault! You're gonna get battery Sexual on a- Sexual assault! Let Sexual me assault. go! You're gonna get another charge no, if you hit me. let me go! Stop. Let me go! Stop. Come back over here, put no. your people on. No! Come back let over here. Let me go! Come on. Come on. No! Come on. Okay. Let me go! And her onslaught didn't stop there. Even when she was taken to the police station, she made an attempt to spit on one of the officers. Talk about exhibiting all the tendencies of a Karen. Speedy Dad. In April 2022, cops were directing traffic near the Columbus Zoo after an accident when 36-year-old Joseph Solinger tried to speed through. Okay, and you think that trying to kill somebody is the way to do that? Give me your driver's license. Give me your driver's license. I'm asking for your driver's license. He's dead! When cops tried to stop him again, as he entered the zoo parking lot, Solinger ignored them and nearly ran over a trooper. That was the last straw for the cop, who hopped in his patrol car and followed Solinger. 
After catching up with Solinger, who was on foot now, the cop zapped him without wasting any second and making him fall flat on his back. Suddenly, the tough guy turned into a love-spreading diva, telling the cops he loves them. I'm sorry. 125, we have him in custody. I have a taser you start me a supervisor. It's just about my wife and kids, who are me. And, and give me a her. medic. And it's just about her. And I love you guys, and I know you don't mean to hurt me. Okay? This whole scene unfolding freaked out zoo visitors who thought there was an active shooter. All that rushing to get to his wife and kids ended up with him in lockup. Lesson learned, stay patient and listen to the cops. Glass stops. Onja George, a 20-year-old suspected of some serious crimes, gets a surprise visit from the cops at a Quality Inn hotel in Blue Ash, Ohio. Okay, so did something happen between you and her tonight, last night? What? Something happened between you and her last night? Um, I mean, not kind of, but not really. Okay, do me a favor. Don't put your hands in your pockets like that when we're talking. It ain't not here. Come here, come on over here for a second. Let's try that. When they try to slap the cuffs on him, instead of making a run for it down the corridor, George decides to take a more unconventional route. He tries to break through the window. And get this, his room was on the sixth floor. But thankfully, the window didn't budge, foiling his escape plan and probably saving his life in the process. This failed attempt even got a chuckle out of the cop. Back on solid ground, George suddenly realizes he's staring down the barrel of some tasers. He decides to play it safe and start complying with the officer's orders. Oh, and can we take a moment to shout out whoever made that glass? They should definitely use this story as their next advertisement. Attempted escape. A car with three people inside was zooming at over 55 miles per hour in a 35 zone, catching the attention of the cops. When they pull over, cops smell a strong odor of weed coming from the car. The driver seems pretty chill, explaining he's rushing to get to his sister at home. But things take a turn when the dispatch informs the officers that the plates don't match. What's up, dude? Um, three, three dudes in there. Uh, it smells like, it smells like marijuana. They decide to detain the driver, but the guy in the passenger seat, who tells cops his name is Mickelson, isn't having it. He starts mouthing off to the cops in the rudest way possible. What's that? Mickelson. Mickelson? Yes. Can you spell it out for me, please? Right, you got to speak up, man. M-I-C-K-E-S-O-N. Mickelson? Yeah. All right. You said Mickelson, now you're saying Mickelson. said Mickelson. Spell it out for me. M-I-C-K-E-L-S-O-N. Oh. Hey, he's trying to run. Hey. Don't go, man. He's taking off, he's taking off. As the officers are searching the driver, this so-called Mickelson decides to pull a fast one and jumps into the driver's seat, speeding off. But not before the officer manages to zap him with a taser, just enough to slow him down. The chase is on, but didn't last long as the suspect crashed into a pole and now is on foot, running through some bushes. The cop isn't far behind and manages to nab him. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back. All right, man, why did you do that shit? I told you. Hey, I told you to calm down. And look what you did. You got yourself in more trouble. Do you have an ID anywhere? Seven, what's the address you're out with? Jesse what? Jason. Jason? Jason what? Jason Massey? Turns out, his real name is Jason Massey. And he's not just some ordinary speed demon, he is a suspected robber with a whole laundry list of charges now. To top it all off, when they check his fanny pack, they find marijuana and live ammunition rounds. And to top it all, 
the canine unit finds a firearm he threw into the bushes while attempting his getaway. If only he stayed cool, he might have walked away from this one. But fear can make people do some pretty dumb things, and in Massey's case, it only made things worse. Entitlement backfired. There is something really satisfying about watching entitled people getting instant karma, right? Sarah Boffording, age 36, thought she could stroll out of a store with a crate of beers without consequences. But when the police showed up to arrest her, she decided to put on a show of entitlement. I didn't steal anything. Okay. We got multiple calls about you on the north Let side. go of my hands now. I'm not going to do that. You have no right to touch me. Yes, I do. All right? You're being detained. For what? I already explained it. it a theft. We have a couple, For da what? A couple damage complaints. I never stole anything. Okay. Let's take your push take your No! Yeah. Let go of me! Stop. Let go! Stop. With a confrontational attitude, she told the officers they couldn't touch her, and as they tried to remove her backpack, she had the audacity to give them a countdown, as if she had any say in the matter. But come on, did she really think she could take on three officers? You have one chance. Okay, you have sir. two seconds. Stop. Two sir, seconds. Unlock your arm. Unlock your arm so I can no, get your backpack No, I explain what I did. Off. Otherwise, I'll just cut it. We're just going to ruin it. Let go of my backpack now. You want us to cut it? One, unlock your arm. two, Sarah. three. One, two, three. Hi, Jeremy. Huh? When they tried to handcuff her, she locked her arms and resisted. And when they attempted to put her in the car, she started kicking them. Seriously. Did nobody tell her that being detained has nothing to do with showing off your martial arts skills? Anyway, the cop swiftly pinned her to the ground and instead of getting angry, politely reminded her that all this resistance wouldn't achieve anything. Drunk Disorder In March 2022, police officers responded to a call from a bar owner about a drunk man causing a scene. They probably thought it would be a straightforward case of helping a drunk guy get home. But what would happen next is something they didn't see coming at all. Where do you live? You need help getting home? No. What's wrong with your car? Okay. What'd you come back here for? Because I was literally having drinks here. You were literally having an issue? No. No, no, no issue. Drinks. Okay. Are you a good driver now? Yes. Are you sure? How many how many drinks do you have? Maybe three. Maybe three. What's your name? Jose. What's up? Jose. Jose. Okay. Jose wasn't exactly the cooperative type. Despite the officer's best efforts to reason with him, he kept getting unnecessarily close and even tried to touch them. At one point, he even attempted to befriend one of the cops, calling him buddy. But the officer quickly reminded him that they weren't pals. I mean, if I drink them, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, like, you're allowed. There's nothing hey, saying you can't drink. Hey, buddy. I'm not your buddy. And please back up. No, I know. I please back, back up. Please back up. Please back up. You're hey. getting you're getting really close to me. Please back up. The officers kept reassuring Jose that they just wanted to get him back home safely. But then out of nowhere, Jose lets his intrusive thoughts win and slap one of the cops. You! Oh! Let me go right now. Hey, who? Let me go right now. Give me some. Go, yeah. you got the cops wasted no time in pinning him to the ground and detaining him, but not without facing some resistance, of course. It's pretty shocking, but at the same time, not so shocking that a guy who snitches on himself for potentially driving under the influence was so drunk that he thought it was okay to slap a cop. This is a night to remember for police, the bar owner and the suspect, but for the wrong reasons. Broken choices. An officer approached a woman about a disturbance on a bus and what started as a heartfelt conversation about her struggles with drugs and being kicked out of her home took a dark turn when she decided to punch a security guard trying to enter the mall. The police quickly detained her, but surprisingly, the security guard didn't want to press charges. So the cop told her she was free to leave, with just one condition, never return to the county. 
Now, you better be glad that he doesn't want to press charges against you because I would have took you to jail today. Now, you clear with me. He doesn't want to press charges. Okay. But you are not welcome at this place anymore, this mall. Okay? Where am I supposed to go? You're going to leave this property and you're never going to return here. And if you do, you'd face criminal charges. I'm going to trespass you from you. No, what the f is the point? But instead of taking the chance to walk away, she did something unexpected. I'm going to say that until I have nowhere to f go, you dumb bitch. Take me now. All right. Is that what you want? Yes. Are you dumb? All right. That's where you're going. She asked the officer to take her to jail and then kick the police. And it was a pretty decent hit. Her attitude after that was anything but compliant. It seems like she might have been in such a broken state that she believed jail was a better option than being out on the streets. Armed confrontation. Terry Sharp was already on the radar of the Sacramento police for a felony fraud warrant and a suspected assault case. Detectives finally caught up with him at the parking lot of Bella Vista Apartments on Deluso Drive, where they spotted him holding a firearm. They wasted no time in identifying themselves as cops and ordering him to drop the weapon. But instead of complying, Terry made the grave mistake of firing some shots. Little did he know, these detectives weren't rookies. They returned fire with precision, and Terry found himself on the ground with his weapon out of reach. Cop takedown. Lastly, this clip is not about dumb civilians trying to mess with cops. This time, it's a cop who's stirring up trouble against other cops. The police are investigating a crash caused by a drunk driver when suddenly, Bradley Beach Police Chief Leonard Guida shows up at the scene, drunk himself. And instead of setting a good example, he starts bullying Sergeant William Major about the fit of his jacket, of all things. Chief, I'm working. I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't you fucking touch me. You have a problem? Fuck. You grab me. Major, understandably fed up with Guida's behavior, takes off his jacket and tries to focus on the accident scene. But Guida just won't let it go. He follows Major and grabs him, crossing a serious line. That's when Major reaches his breaking point. He picks up the chief and slams him onto the hood of the police cruiser, yelling, Don't touch me! Guida probably thought his subordinates would never dare stand up to him and developed a track record of showing up drunk to important places. That's a wrap on suspects messing with the wrong cops. It feels really satisfying to watch justice arrive swiftly, doesn't it? Uh, tell me in the comments which one of these suspects shocked you the most. Oh. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one coming your way. Until then, goodbye.